Welcome back. African 3D Virtual. Three words you can experience live at a month-long exhibition taking place at Museum Africa in Newtown. The exhibition will capture the themes of geomorphology, archaeology, ancient technologies and scientific inventions. These will be seen within the African context and will be interpreted through 3D virtual animation and videography. Now to tell us more, I'm joined by Lesejo Mlambo. She is the manager at Museum Africa. Lesejo, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us here on Newsnight. Good evening. So tell us about this very exciting uh, innovation. Oh, yeah, no, it's called the African 3D Map Maze um, exhibition, which we just launched on the 26th mm -hmm. of May. And this exhibition came as a response to what we call the mayoral priorities of the city of Johannesburg in response to the smart city. So as museums, there's always a narrative that museums are boring space where you're just having collection, old things in the building. So now we needed to attract more people, especially after COVID-19, because the idea just came just during COVID-19. So to, to kind of attract people that might still get um, uncomfortable in visiting museums. So we thought, how about to bring it, uh, bring in a digital element mm -hmm. by using our collection. So by integrating our collection, different kinds of collection, and then also instilling pride as well, because yes. this, this, there was a lot of negativity during uh, uh, COVID-19. And even post-COVID-19, there's, there's still a lot of negativity in terms of gender-based violence and, mm -hmm. and all of those uh, the things that are happening in the country and also in, in the continent. So this was a spin-off, a positive spin-off to say that, you know what, we've, we, are, we are great. We're a great continent. We're a great nation. So how about we pause and we halt and we look back into what has happened previously, the achievements that have happened previously, mm -hmm. and w w which better museum to, to tell that story. And that museum is, is Museum Africa because we host those kind of collections. Amazing. So it is Youth Month. Mm -hmm. Do you hope this innovation uh, and the, the 4D map will be sort of an encouragement to increase the youth's appetite when it comes to museum and museum collections? In actual fact, um, we had two built-up programs um, as part of this exhibition. Um, the first one was on the 12th of May, and that was called the Career, uh, Careers in Museums. And the target market was your college students from Richfield. So they are studying IT, and it's, it's basically a walking distance from the museum. So when we brought them in, they did not even know that there's a particular museum next to them mm. so it was that kind of a setup of saying you know what let's let's try to bring in the the, the adults or young adults mm. so that they can give us a review of what they think about our museum so the production of the 3d maze was still in in in, in, in production so when they came in they, they had a different um, perspective about museums so in terms of now being youth, youth month um, it, it's going to extend that element of saying, you know what, there's different careers, even inside museums. It's not about archaeologists or collection managers or curators. There are people who are doing IT, who are doing digitization, that, that have th this flexi um, um, careers that can, they can be able to do inside our museum. Amazing. So talk to us about the planning process, mm. the initial phase, and, and actually building the 4D structure. Mm. Did a lot of work and thought go into that? Wow, there was a lot of research, definitely, yeah. because as I'm, hence I'm saying that we've integrated quite a lot of our um, collection inside the, the 3D. So what we have in our museum, we've got your geology collection, we've got a cultural history collection, we've got archaeology. So what happens is that in, in curatorship, you get to do a lot of research behind that. And in animation, we thought about bringing in um, animators so that they can bring those collection to life, so that the, the collection can have its own voice to, to speak back to the people so that when people get to experience it through videography they get to, to to have a sense of an experience that even a tour guide cannot cannot be able to 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 give them so there's been a lot of work behind videography behind animation research and so forth hmm. let's talk uh, to the different themes and how they were interpreted i'm interested hmm. in this Geomorphology. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is that? <laughs> it's the study of, of land formations, you know, different okay. types of, of rocks, uh, uh, of how the, the continent was formed and so forth. So with us, we've got a collection called the Geology Collection in Museum Africa. Mm -hmm. So it was part of the inspiration to, to that um, theme. So with geomorphology, what came to it was that, you know what, okay, this is African 3D map maze and we've been compartmentalized for a very long time. And this was to show that, no, we, actu we, we are actually 
we've been one. Before we were Africa, we've been one. Mm -hmm. So before we were Africa, there was something called the Gondwana land and the, the Pagan land. But right now, talking about the Gondwana land, that was when before Africa became Africa, before Australia became um, Australia and, and um, South America be became um, South America. So it was to show the, the whole world to say that, you know what, much as you, you marginalize Africa, much as you, you've co compartmentalized us, we've actually been one. Geologically speaking, because most of the minerals you find in, in South Africa or in Africa, some of them you find them in Australia. So then why are we now being called Africa at the end of the day? Because we are part of something that originated before Africa. So that's the storyline behind it. Interesting. Mm. So I had an interesting conversation with uh, someone at Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. They were launching sort of an African section because they, they said that there's not enough accurate information on Af the African continent and mm. on South Africa on the internet. Mm. So will this information be available online as well? It well, right now we, we are working on it because it's a digital um, exhibition and it's supposed to be a mobile exhibition. I think that is one of the reasons why I'm okay, here, so that it can be able to reach the world out there. Because one of the reasons is that, you know what, we wanted to reach a lot of people outside the community of Johannesburg, outside the community of Newtown. So when people are interested in partnering with us, we can be able to provide those videos so that they can be able to educate um, the learners in different schools in the rural areas, even outside your, your international borders as well so that they can see the way we are telling our stories yeah. the way we want not someone someone coming through and telling our stories the, our behalf, yeah. with distortions exactly so when I think of museums I don't know maybe I'm, sh I'm, I'm showing my age but I think <laughs> of uh, some sort of structure with mm. a plate that describes what it is and you sort of mm. just walk from structure to structure mm. and do your own thing mm. and I think that is part of the reason why some people may have lost interest mm -hmm. in attending physically. Mm -hmm. Just talk to us about the importance of innovation in this space. Right, you know, right now, especially after COVID, arts and culture in general was one of the um, majorly hit um, sectors, especially now museums be, being shut down and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So this one, this element was to say, you know what, Let's now forget about the narrative of, of space. Let's forget about the narrative of people walking into the building. Yes, we are very, um, it, it's fundamental for us to have that building. It's fundamental for us to have th that collection inside the building. But right now, let's spread our wings. If, if there's technology and we can integrate it, why not? So this is the time and chance for us to say that even heritage, heritage industries, we have that capacity that can be able to spread our wings so that other industries and other people that don't know about mm. museums or had no interest about museums now can be able to access it through different types of channels now which is now even you can if you, go, you can go to our, our, our Facebook page mm -hmm. which is the Joburg culture you can find some of the interesting things that we do as museums so so museums are not just buildings yeah. museums are not just about the objects that you find inside the building amazing so talk to us about if someone's watching and they they think that this is interesting and they want to come through and watch is it uh, open for everyone to to visit definitely definitely it's open it's up and running ever since it was launched on the 26th of may it's been up and running it's it's a it's, it has been a facelift for our museum like yeah. for some people that have known um, museum africa be before when they come and view the exhibition they're like wow <laughs> this is different it's very different so even if you've been there before it's it's different Completely now you should, you should different visit again Yes. Okay, so what's, what's left for the future? You did mention that you would like this, um, to, this innovation to be mobile and mm. travel the country or travel the world. Mm. What else is happening? What else is happening is that we, we are now working with different partners so that okay. they can be able to also... Uh, um, give us um, what you call them touch screens. We are working with um, with a hip hop museum. It's called Hip Hop Museum. It's Interesting. In, <laughs> it's inside our museum. There's, there's a hip hop museum. There's, yes, there's a hip hop museum. So they've also um, shown interest to, in in working with us, so that they can be able to probably um, um, work with the touch screens in our in, in our exhibition because mm -hmm. they've seen how great it is. So they've seen how we can be able to expand on our current running exhibition by adding the, the touch screens. Amazing. Well, yeah. Lisekho, thank you for joining us. Mm. Thank you for your information and your insights. And I wish you all of the best in mm. all of the endeavors that the museum is going to uh, take part in going forward. But thank mm. you for your time. And thank keep you. doing the great work. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> My absolute pleasure. That was Lisekho Mlambo. She is the manager at Museum Africa Collections. And just chatting to us about the latest innovation at Museum Africa. It's a 4D structure. You can go and check it out. That museum is based in Newtown. Check out their social media pages and the website as well for all of that information.